hi guys welcome back to a brand new video if you're new to this channel hi my name is eve make sure to like this video and make sure to subscribe and share this video to somebody else who might enjoy it as well so today is another house hunting video today we are house hunting at Rizu. I was definitely looking at the areas around highway so where I started where specifically I'm looking is Kiungoro I definitely went around the highway I'm sure I can get better apartments but so far so good these are the ones that I found that are available made sure to include all the numbers and the details of the people involved in this apartment but as always, if you want me to find you something, you are specifically, you can always reach out to me. I will leave my handles down below. You can always reach out to me on my social media pages. And I will be honored to help you out in your journey. And with that, keep watching. So the first apartment that we are going to get into is this bed sitter that is located near the highway. This bed sitter is going for 8,000 shillings. It's actually quite spacious. Um, it doesn't show on camera but it is a space that can fit at least um, a 3 sitter and a 6 inch bed. It has enough space to fit all that. I also like that the space included um, two windows instead of one because um, that means that the space is getting enough light. So now we're just going to walk over to the bathroom to see what it looks like. To be honest the bathroom did not disappoint me it was quite spacious not tiny i did ask about the toilet seat and they say that that's how they buy them that they're not going to put a lid over it that big shower unfortunately is a cold shower so when you come in you're going to have to bring your own shower head i like the small cut space that the back you can use it to store some of your toiletries now i'm going to show you the view of the apartment from the location of the bathroom right after that i'm going to show you guys the kitchen i actually i am so glad i always love it when bed sitters like do this thing where you put the kitchen in a separate area i don't like the whole just a sink i don't feel like that suffices you do as well have a window at the kitchen where you can get some fresh air i could swear i opened up those i have footage of opening up these cabinets and showing you everything but i guess i don't know where that footage went but this is me showing you the view from the kitchen i am not lying about this space you guys the also good thing about this apartment is that you're going to be dealing with a landlord instead of an agent other things that you may need to know about the apartment is as usual you pay your electricity by tokens the water is i believe 150 per unit i will leave the number of the person in charge and you guys can give him a call if you guys are interested in this house Apart from this apartment being close to the highway, if you study at Zeta College, this one is really close to the university. My letdowns with this apartment were, apart from it being really dark, I felt like it was quite tiny. For somebody who has a lot with them, kindly, this might not be a good suitable place for you. The washrooms, um, everything just feels a bit musty because there is barely any lighting that is getting into this apartment and i was almost giving up on it by the way and i was just about to leave and the caretaker told me that he had something else to show me that might be of interest to me so i followed him to a new apartment regardless if you are starting out um you don't have like a lot of things with you this is a good place mostly because it also has a landlord so you're mostly going to be dealing with the landlord which is honestly always a good situation to deal with the landlord more than an agent so that is an advantage to that place you walk into this massive room and right in front of the door is what is going to be your closet I don't know how it's going to work in terms of rearranging the place to fit not just the bedroom but your living room area 
but uh, once you move and you'll figure it out maybe as you're watching this you already figured it out so i'm just showing you guys just um how it looks i want to show you guys the bathroom the bathroom was actually pretty massive could fit a couple people in there definitely it's a dull space but i believe it will do it will do even though it barely gets any lighting it will do so i want to show you the size of the room standing at the bathroom door So now we're going to head into the kitchen and I will say one thing about this kitchen. It had a walkway, pretty, um, I feel long walkway. My only thing is it just has a sink and that's it. So they definitely had a lot of room to play around with the kitchen, make it m more modern, I feel like. But it will do, gives you definitely more space to arrange um, whatever assets you have for the kitchen outside of the kitchen you do get like your own private balcony um it's a very narrow balcony and at the moment while i was seeing it there were so many things um just hindering there but it's a very long <laughs> balcony definitely also can be able to arrange some of your assets there maybe you can be able to put like your buckets and your basins and your containers for water I didn't get to film in depth this apartment because the caretaker was on my trail and you can see him in all of my videos in every clip when I turn around he's just there so I definitely didn't get to film a lot because it just felt like uh you know I'm a nipper rosa but nikama like had a nipper rosa on a I will say when I heard that the apartment was going to be 12,000, I was expecting something better. This felt like it was more of a space that could they couldn't structure it to fit a one bedroom, so they just decided to just like make it a bed sitter and just put an insane price tag on it. So I will say that I was not as impressed, but I will say it is very close to a lot of amenities it is very close to the highway if you study at the college it's very close to the university so yeah you might also have to consider that as well I'm now going to walk you through this apartment that is literally walking distance from the bypass. So the room is painted pink and green. I did ask about the color change and they said if you want to change the color that will be your own personal cost. Once you get in to your right you are met by this door that is leading to the bathroom and outside the door is this mirror that comes with it. I like this accessory because so many apartments nowadays just forget to add a mirror for you. This apartment definitely feels like it has either just been built or it has just been renovated. You will see like a lot of filler on the floor. So once you move in, you will have to clean all that just to make it a bit more nice clean. From the bathroom, next to it is what is going to be your kitchen. I liked that the try to step up their game they did not just put a sink there definitely also like try to put some sort of storage space there opposite on the other side of the wall is where that you're going to find the space that is going to be your closet
I am very excited to tell you about this apartment. I am I saved the best for last. Please do not be concerned by how the apartment looked. I got to view it the minute that somebody else walked out of it. But out of all the bed sitters that I've seen today, this one has the most potential. It definitely gives you like a lot of room to be able to organize and you will see that in a minute once you walk in you have this whole hallway here for you to work with do whatever you want with it and when you go straight ahead you are met by your kitchen i actually liked this kitchen i like this place because it has a lot of lighting and it was actually the most spacious visitor in that apartment complex i'm about to just show you the size of the room as i said it gives you like a lot of room to work with because everything is so strategically placed the corners are so strategically placed so i'm just about to show you and now that i'm realizing i didn't actually get to film this apartment in detail right there where that gentleman is coming out is where your bathroom is i just realized that i forgot to capture that in the meantime let us bring our attention to the kitchen i had opened up all the cabinets so that you can see the storage spaces i'm not showing you the space here at the far end is a beautiful space where you can be able to put your bed and then it just leaves you the rest of the space to work with that's why i was saying the corners are just so strategically placed because where i'm standing you can put your bed and then work with the rest of the space to be your living room or your sitting room or your dining room whatever it is you'd like to work with and also as well as much as i didn't film the bathroom the bathroom was actually pretty spacious it was just the almost a bit bigger than the first bathroom in the first apartment that i showed you because it's the same apartment complex but i loved so much filming this for you guys and if you guys would like more videos like, like this ones please do not forget to let me know subscribe to my channel so that i may continue to be able to get more motivated to film this kind of videos for you guys